It's 519. Let's turn now to your weather right now. And Lindsay, we are heading back into the 80s and staying comfortable. The humidity won't be too bad today. This is a good week for yeah. the fair. You know, and I, I think a lot of people over the weekend noticed it was super humid as well. So now we are looking at really comfortable conditions returning and those 80s. So if you felt like you were just a little bit cool yesterday, yes, we were stuck in the 70s. The 80s are back here for today. I am tracking some pop ups, though. Really minor, very few and far between, and they're happening between, I want to say, about 4 and 7 o'clock. So I wouldn't let this really deter you from heading to the fair. This is going to be such a minor event here. As we go into Wednesday, it will be hotter, slightly more humid as well, and temperatures getting to about 87 degrees with some more evening rain chances. This, These ones are going to be a little bit more coverage, if you will. We're going to get more of these as we head into the evening hours. So something to keep in mind, maybe go a little bit earlier in the day. And then by Thursday, we are going to start to feel a little bit more muggy, but that is not the case today. We are good. 67 degrees right now in West Dallas and 60 degrees. A beautiful shot here coming out of Brookfield. That sun not coming up until about 545 or so. And we have eight o'clock sunsets just for another couple of days, guys. So today we definitely have less wind. It was a little bit windy yesterday. Comfy and sunny will be the rule going into the afternoon and again between four and seven o'clock is when I expect to see the potential of some of those pop ups as far as you know the comfort cast goes by Thursday evening we're going to start to crank that up a little bit Friday is going to be a humid day and then Saturday we're going to start to see some things changing a little bit for us as I'm tracking a couple of weather systems you can see high pressure over off in Colorado right now there's a huge weather system down towards the deep south that's keeping them super hot but for us we've been actually We've had a pretty pleasant summer. We need a lot of rain. I mean, we still have a pretty big deficit that way, but a little bit of rain on the way today. You see what I'm talking about? Little tiny pop ups. And a lot of this is just the interaction of those westerly winds and a bit of a lake breeze kicking in that allows for us to see some lifting in the atmosphere and you can get these little pop ups forming. Nothing big, nothing strong, nothing severe, and really nothing to worry about. The next thing I'm tracking is this cold front that's on the way. It's going to be pushing through northern Wisconsin on Wednesday. This one doesn't have a lot of severe weather indicators, guys. It doesn't have a lot of energy. It doesn't have a lot of, you know, wind shear, which is winds in the upper levels. So really, I don't expect this to be something you have to even worry about. And this would be happening late in the day. I would keep the window shut Wednesday night going into Thursday. Behind that front, we will see those temperatures drop just ever so slightly. But like I said, the severe threat is well away from us happening in the Ozarks and also getting into uh, western Tennessee. Tons of rain, though, because of that system. That system gets stuck and it just continues to bring an onslaught of moisture and showers and thunderstorms. We set out of the line of fire on that. In fact, we may get an inch on the high end over the next couple of days. I really don't see that happening. You might get about a third of an inch out of this. So you still need to be watering your gardens and your lawn. I mean, we are looking at an over six inch deficit of rain since April. And also, like I said, tonight's sunset, 8.04, eight o'clock or later sunsets will be the case until Saturday. So we are three days away from coffee with the crew. We've been talking about this. That's at the Summerfest grounds. You can meet us and get a free cup of coffee. We are just 28 days away from school kicking off for MPS and 46 until the first day of fall. Your full 70 forecast highlights temperatures kind of going up a little bit by Wednesday and then back down Thursday. A couple of storm chances on Friday and the weekend looks great. Let's